Hi everyone, welcome back to this series and question number 25. This time we have a question once again from CAT 2019 slot 2. Let's have a look. A cyclist leaves A at 10 a.m. and reaches B at 11 a.m. Starting from 10 1 a.m. every minute a motorcycle leaves A and moves towards B. 45 such motorcycles reach B by 11 a.m. and all motorcycles have the same speed. If the cyclist had doubled his speed, how many motorcycles would have reached B by the end by the time the cyclist reached B? That's what the question is. So I made a track over here. The cyclist starts from one end and he goes to the other end by 11 a.m. So something like this happens. So the cyclist is currently here at the first end, and this is the stage where he is at exactly 10 o'clock because he starts from here at 10 o'clock. And now he goes to the other end where he actually is crossing, he's being crossed by many motorcyclists as the question says that starting from 10, 1, every minute a motorcyclist is leaving. So now this person leaves the other end at what time? He reaches there at exactly 11 o'clock, right? And at this 11 o'clock, he met the 45th cyclist because 45 such motorcycles reach B by 11 a.m. So this is the 45th motorcyclist who actually reached this point at 11 o'clock, right? Now, it is not exactly necessarily 11 o'clock. It might have been 10.59 and 20, 10.59 and 30, something like that. But definitely after 10.59 and definitely before 11, he must have met. 45 uh, motorcyclists in this race. Okay. Now the point is because the 45th motorcyclist has met him here. At what time this motorcyclist start from the point, right? At what time he started from there? The first motorcyclist has started at 10 1, second at 10 2, third at 10 3, and that was 45th must have started at 10 45. So can I say? this motorcyclist must have taken approximately 15 minutes to cover this track, right? He met the cyclist at 11 o'clock at the other end. The cyclist reached there at 11 o'clock and he started from this end at 10.45. So we can say that he takes 15 minutes to cover this track and he has clearly written that all motorcycles have the same speed. So every motorcyclist is actually taking exactly 15 minutes. Now he sees the question a little bit. He says, if the cyclist doubled his speed, if the cyclist would double his speed, of course, if he starts at 10 o'clock now, he is going to reach at this end at 10.30 because he's just going to take half the time. Previously, he was taking one hour. Now he's going to take half the time. So he's going to reach here at 10.30. Now the cyclist that is going to meet him at 10.30 here, at what time this cyclist must have started from there? I'm, so, I'm sorry, the motorcycle must have started from that end. Because the motorcycle takes 15 minutes, that means this motorcycle must have started from here at 10.15. So can I say today, the motorcycle that started at 10.01 met him, 10.2 met him, 10.3 up to 10.15. So there are 15 cyclists who would have met him today. That is the right answer for this question and I would call it an aptitude way of solving it. Visualization is a very good tool for you while doing these questions. Use them as much as possible while doing practice at home. It is going to be very beneficial for you. All the very best.